In this video, I'm going to derive the divisibility rule for 4. Note that 4 divides 100 because 100 is a multiple of 4. Of course, 4 goes into 4 times 25 times. 4 times 25. It goes in 25 times. So 4 goes into 100. Also note, call that note 1, note 2, given any integer, k, k can be written as 100a plus 10b plus c. And any one of those a, b's, and c's can equal 0. For example, if you have 7,253, well, those are the number of hundreds you have. You have 75 hundreds, plus you have 5 tens, plus you have 3 ones. If you don't believe that, this gives you 7200 plus 50 plus 3. 7200 plus 50 plus 3 is 7253. Now, what if you have a smaller number? What if you have, I don't know, 36? Well, this is 0 times 100 plus 3 times 10 plus 6. Mm, 6 times 1. Well, that's 0. That's 30. And that's 6. Of course, when you add them up, you get 36. Likewise, if you just have 7, 7 is 0 hundreds plus or zero tens plus seven ones. Zero plus zero plus seven, of course that equals seven. So this is a true statement. For any integer, it can be written that way. The key one is, if it's a big number, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's that many hundreds, three, four, five, six, seven, that many hundreds plus that many tens plus that many ones. All right. So now with our two notes, we can get on to with this. Let K be any integer. So 4 divides this number if and only if 4 divides. Well, we're saying that k can be written this way. If and only if 4 divides 100a plus 10b plus 5. Well, for the record, if 4 divides, if 4 divides 100, then 4 divides any multiple of 100. Okay, so 4 divides k only if 4 divides that number. But we know 4 divides this number. And whenever we like, we can think of a sum as one number. This is one number. Now since 4 divides this number, the only way 4 is going to divide the sum is if and only if 4 divides 10b plus 5. Oh, don't ask me why it became 5. It's always been C. It's always been C. Okay, so 4 divides this number, this integer k, if and only if 4 divides 10b plus c. But those are the last two digits of the number. If you have 7, 2, 3, 4, 9, okay, 7, 9, it's this number, 7, 2, 3, 4, 
times 100 plus 79. And we know 4 divides that number because it goes into it 7,234 times 25 times. The only way 4 is going to divide the sum, the only way 4 is going to divide the sum is if and only if 4 goes into 79, the last two digits. And that's the rule. 4 divides an integer if and only if 4 divides or goes into the last two digits. That is the proof for the divisibility rule for 4. Just decide whether or not 4 goes into the last two digits. So if I give you a long crazy number like this, ignore everything but the last two digits. Since 4 goes into 36, 4 will go into this whole number. If this would have been 38, since 4 does not go into the last two digits, 38, then 4 will not go into this big, big number. If you like to see videos like this where all we do is prove things, please subscribe to my channel. As always, continue to watch and learn.